Tony Gravely and Johnny Munoz Jr. in the Bantamweight division. Johnny is a lot taller, he's a lot lengthier with a 2 inch reach advantage and a 4 inch height advantage. A little bit younger, uh, but a lot less experience than Tony Gravely. Only 12 professional MMA fights, only one win in the UFC against Jamie Simmons, who's currently out of the UFC, and then he did lose to Nate Maness as well, a guy that Tony Gravely also lost to about seven, uh, almost eight months ago by knockout in the second round. He beat Anthony Bershik by knockout. He beat Geraldo the Freitas decision and Simon Oliveira decision. They lose to Brett Johns. I mean, the, all the guys that Tony Gravely is losing to, legit, very legit guys. Brett Johns, Nate Maness. Uh, let's go down. Patchy Mix, a Bellator title challenger. We got Manny Bermudez. Marab Duelis Vili's on here. Ricky Bandejas, decent guy. And then Pat Sabatini. These are all very, very legit guys on his record. I mean, every single one of them is a legit prospect. Um, that is beating Tony Gravely. Johnny Munoz Jr. is a good prospect. I will give him that. But only way he's going to win this fight is if he goes out there and takes down Tony Gravely for three rounds, or he takes him down and submits him early with that rear naked choke submission. It is very possible. He has plenty of rear naked arm bars, heel hook submission wins in his career so far, but I know Tony Gravely is expecting that game plan from um, Johnny Munoz Jr. He's going to be doing the whole entire fight camp, kind of related to defending the takedowns of Johnny Munoz Jr., even landing a few takedowns of his own, and mainly keeping the fight on the field. In the striking, I do believe um, that Tony Gravely is going to be the better striker. He's a lot more powerful than Nate Maness, and I think if he can close that distance enough, he can land enough shots to actually out-volume Johnny Munoz Jr. Not to mention, again, if he's able to defend the takedowns of Johnny Munoz Jr., he himself is a very good wrestler and grappler and could actually land a few takedowns on Johnny Munoz Jr. So I do think Tony Gravely is going to win the fight. I think he's going to keep it pretty even on the feet, just land a little bit more volume and land the harder shots. He's going to mix in a few takedowns here and there as well and edge out a unanimous decision right there. Betting odds for the fight as of right now, Tony Gravely is at minus 145. Odds to go to a decision, actually plus money at plus 110 right there. Junior inside distance, plus 270. Gravely inside distance, plus 170. And the Gravely decision is plus 265, where Junior decision is plus 345 personally I think it does go to a decision I think gravely um I mean a lot of his wins recently are decision wins only that one knockout on Anthony Burchick uh whereas Johnny Munoz Jr. has never been knocked out in his career never been finished in his career so I don't think that's gonna happen then the fight goes all the way Tony gravely by a unanimous decision